Today I have two patients. Um, I just did their ABO uh, and D blood typing, and this one was a uh, an O positive patient. Um, if you look, they had a three plus um, negative negative for A and B, three plus for D, and then the reverse was four. 4 plus for each A and B cells. Okay, and then the other patient was O positive as well, and um, this patient had negative A, negative B, 3 plus for D, anti D, and then a 4 plus and a 3 plus uh, for the, the actual uh, A cells and B cells. Okay, so I recorded them and now I'm going to move on to the screen. Okay, the antibody screen has three panel cells of O donors. Okay, you need to make sure to gently mix the reagent cells so that there aren't any sticking on the bottom, which you would see if it had um, sat there for a while. So we will put reagent red cells into each of our patients. Um, so this is cell three. Let's see if I can get the better, there we go. Cell two. And cell one. On my antigram for the screen, I have uh, the immediate spin 37 and AHG. So again, we put our reagents in first. So, so we put one drop of um, reagent cells in each of those and then we're going to add two drops of plasma, but before that, we also have to add to our auto control. So one drop of patient, um, three to five cell suspension, and two drops of plasma. Now I'm doing two drops of plasma to each of the reagent cells for this patient. I had a short sample on this one, so we may not be able to go any further than the initial screen. And then I'm going to do the same now for the patient. So one drop of this other patient's cells and two drops of the plasma. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now I'm going to uh, centrifuge them for 15 seconds each. So put them in. Make sure that I balance the, the centrifuge. Also make sure that you gently shake them a little bit before, oops, sorry, uh, gently shake them a little bit before you put them in. So, okay, so my centrifuge is balanced, my centrifuge is balanced. Okay, I can press the redo and go. So while that's spinning, I just want to show you the antigram. So each of these is the donor that is an O, um, o patient and the RH, which is also known as D, is right here. So two of them are O positive, one of them is O negative, and the rest of them um, are listed here. So these are known antigens that are on the reagent red cells. The auto control, um, this uh, anagram from ImmuCore doesn't have the auto on it. So I put, I like to put the auto underneath. And so we have the immediate spin, the 37, the AHG, and then the check cells. 
Okay, so with the immediate spin, that is what we are doing right now. So what I'm going to be pulling out right now is going to be the immediate spin. So what we do is we check for any agglutination at all. So let me just pull these out and then we'll check them. Okay. So we have patient up front, cell one and two. I don't see any reaction for cell one and two. And now let's do cell three is a negative and the auto control is negative all as well. The other patient in the background is negative for cells one and two, cells three and auto control also are negative. All right, since that's not fun at all, um, <laughs> because they're all negative, um, we may end up having to actually add some in here so we can see a positive auto. negative okay so uh, if the patient had no um, transfusion history or history of pregnancy um, we could just stop here now because at the immediate spin they're fine um, we can incubate for 37 and do an AHG if they do have a history of uh, transfusion reaction so um, I'm going to do uh, this patient, I'm going to continue to just have, um, I'm going to continue to have them the way that they are, and I'm going to add an antibody to this one so that uh, we have something to look at. <laughs> All right, so I'll redo the immediate spin with the antibody on this one, and uh, that way we can move forward uh, with at least one antibody identification panel. Okay, so I added anti-something. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. I added that to the other patient's um, blood to make it so that we get a positive something. So I'm redoing, I'm redoing that patient right now and I will record that here. Uh, so I'll let you know what I find out. Hold on just a minute. Okay, so here I have my auto control and cell three of the patient that I added an um, immunoglobulin to to try to make it positive. You would not do that in the clinical laboratory. This is just a teacher trying to come up with a positive result. Oh my goodness, we have a positive. Okay, so this one is negative. All right. So this one is a positive, looks like a two plus, okay? All right, so I'm recording that. So we're gonna change. So cell one, cell one was a two plus now, and everything else was a negative, okay? So since we have a positive here, we're definitely gonna make it all the way out. I'm going to do um, this one as well. We're going to do all the way out to AHG, and then we'll end up doing, um, if this is the only, if this happens to be the only screen that's positive, we'll end up doing an antibody identification panel on this one.